Glenda Allen, a stop for each candidate here in the Motor City today as the polls open. For Senator Sanders, a stop at a polling location. And for Joe Biden, that Fiat Chrysler stop where he had that tense exchange with a UAW worker. I did not say that. That's not, I did not say that. While touring Detroit's Fiat Chrysler Mack Avenue plant, Joe Biden confronted by a UAW worker on his Second Amendment policies. After shushing his press aide, the argument intensifying, much of it difficult to hear. Reactions to the video varying wildly from partisan lenses. In a tweet, political commentator David Frum suggesting the video makes Biden look stronger by engaging a hostile critic face to face, fact to fact. While conservative nonprofit leader Benny Johnson tweeted that Biden yelled in the faces of blue collar union auto workers from Michigan. A very different Detroit campaign stop for Bernie Sanders greeting voters at a polling location and again highlighting Joe Biden's vote on NAFTA. Just driving through the state, worthy man. And it's a sad state of affairs to see so many homes that are boarded up and to see how devastating trade agreements have been. Some voters saying the stop impacted their vote. And I was really pleased. And I was really torn on which way I was going to vote, but this kind of put the icing on the cake. And we just received a statement from the Biden team from Pres Rapid Response Director Andrew Bates. He says Democrats want someone who will stand up for their principles. Gun reform is something he's been extremely serious about for decades. And this epidemic of mass shootings is intolerable. If we're going to take on Donald Trump and win and gain more down ballot victories across the country, we have to own our convictions and fight back against disinformation that right wing demagogues like Donald Trump are hoping Americans will buy. And late word this evening that both the Senators campaign as well as the Biden campaign canceling rallies in Cleveland over fears of coronavirus. Back to you.